Hi guys, so I think I might need to extend Fool of the Week to twice every seven days as Tory MPs and ministers are making it much more difficult to find a single candidate. So Greg Hans, the Minister for State for Energy, appeared on Question Time where he tried to explain how a loan is not a loan. Now the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, had tried to do the same last week. Now this is in regards to the £200 that will be given to households a sum that they will be forced to take and then will have to pay back over five years. But it isn't a loan. Okay. Can I just come back to the point about bills, though? Because that's the other really important part of what we're dealing with tonight. And the Chancellor of the Exchequer launched a really important package in February, just two months ago, to deal with the rise in bills. Cannot deal with it completely, but actually £9 billion set aside, a £200 discount on energy bills, a £150 discount on council tax, additional funds to make sure the most vulnerable are able to give them assistance in paying their energy bills. £200 is, of course, a loan. It's not a clear. loan. It is a discount, okay, but which will then be taken back. back in the form You're of a levy. You're not it, you have to pay it back. No, that not necessarily like the individual. It gets taken back at the, like at the point house. at which it is levy. Yeah, Sorry, it's you're levy. all shouting something. What are you all shouting? You're saying it's a loan. It's not a loan. It's, it's a loan. Not... That's what you're hearing from me. No, it's... <laughs> it's, it's a loan. We're giving you £200, although you're forced to take it. So, in a sense, maybe it's not a normal type of loan. Normally, there's a choice. You know, you actually go to the bank or you go to the credit uh, agency or whatever, uh, and they give you the money. You ask for the money and they give you the money. In this case, Rishi Sunak is giving you the money, but you can't say no. But you still have to pay it back. It's, it's taken back through a levy. It's not a loan because it doesn't create an <laughs> obligation on the individual to repay. It is actually a levy on the price point uh, at which the bill but is. But they still have to it, pay it, it back. What's the, the difference? It, it's put on the price point, not on the individual. The individual does not have an obligation to repay. Oh, so we can it say we don't want to, if no. we don't want to pay, but we don't have to. No, I'm not saying that. It's uh. taken back. <laughs> so then you, it is a loan. This is insane. And he's been laughed at. And uh, Brendan makes a very valid point here. He says, don't need any polls to see that the Tories have lost the public. Just watch this minute and a half. And he's right here. It's a joke. They're trying to sell, they're giving you a loan that you have to pay back. And they're trying to sell it as it's not a loan. Do I have to pay it back? Yes. But that's something at the price point and known as a levy. But if you have, if you've been given money that you have to repay, then that is a loan. Now, I think there shouldn't be any loan. It should actually be a grant. <laughs> it's taken back at the point at which it is charged. Yeah? So if you it's don't not, heat not, yourself, if you don't have any heating afterwards, then you don't pay it back. It is not an obligation. Is that, is that it? Importantly, <laughs> that is it, it, isn't it? In, that's what you're saying. Okay. It comes in this October. And these are the important things that we've announced to help people with bills. But that's different to the long-term strategy that we've launched today with renewables. Okay, it's, we're giving you this money. You can't say no, and you have to pay it back. But it isn't a loan. It's absurd. And I think this is part of the problem that Rishi Sunak is facing at the moment. He's deeply unpopular. He tried to engage in some sort of ridiculous uh, PR stunt where he was filling up someone else's car pretending it was his car then he went to buy a, a can of coke and a chocolate bar or something and he wasn't able to pay for it because he doesn't know how <laughs> mere mortals use money okay um, embarrassing deeply embarrassing for him and his polling is way down now I had said a couple of months ago that I believed that Rishi Sunak was number one when it came to replacing Boris Johnson as Tory leader. Um, at the moment, that's not the case. Um, the next in line is Liz Truss, it seems. And Liz Truss has been very busy keeping her mouth shut and having her image pasted all over the place. But unless Liz Truss says something really stupid, uh, I think she's... This is, you know, we have to say this, we're at, we're the, the bottom of the barrel has been scraped so much. Liz Truss is next in line to replace Boris Johnson. But Boris Johnson isn't going anywhere for the foreseeable future.
Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.